Hello everyone, welcome back. We're gonna look at this Lionel 249. I got this at a train show and there was no tender. It was a really good price and I already have a couple Pennsylvania tenders so I thought I'd just pick it up and if anything keep it for spare parts. The uh, main problem I have is with the rear trailing truck I ha it came with the truck, but the the, P the bar that goes across here is broken off and I don't have the bar. And some of the plastic here I think is broken where the screw would have held the, held it on or actually a like a rivet, not a rivet, but a spiral screw press in with no, no head on it really to take it out. So I'm going to make a bracket to go across here. To hold this truck from falling off it just falls down and it's got a little little notch there that holds it into the back of the frame of the motor but I haven't even tested it yet <clears throat> to see if it'll run so let's try see if it does anything I uh, hook up positive I don't know why I always say positive and negative when it's AC, but I guess you have your your ground and hot. Let's see. Try it. Here, click. Well, it's maybe it's trying to run. I think it needs some cleaning on the probably the brushes and I'll take a look at it some more and tell you what I find out. While I've taken the motor out, I took the top screw out here which held the top of the motor which is right went into this hole here back by the E-unit and then the only other thing two screws I took out were the two screws here basically holding the front truck this assembly here it's got a nice big weight for the front which this is gives it extra weight because it's a plastic shell and also has a nice weight here in the back uh, give the locomotive some extra weight so I just took it out and hooked up my test leads again and tried to run it a little bit I made sure this E unit was engaged here with a contact that would cycle the unit. This only has, I think, forward, reverse. It doesn't have neutral. I think a 250 has neutral, but a 249 just forward and reverse. Well, these brushes are all kind of gummed up, <clears throat> and I think that's why it wouldn't run, which most of the time it could be that. I turned it on and a little bit of smoke was coming out from where the brushes are like they were arcing so I sprayed a little bit of contact cleaner in there and that's all I did didn't even record reverse and you can hear need some oil yeah. so this is a looks like a good good motor. I'll do some more cleaning up on it and I think that's all it's going to need. Take the brushes out, take this cover off. I'll take it apart and show you inside and see how dirty it looks. Well I've taken the two nuts off these two posts here and that allowed me to take off the armature plate cover and Behind it is a bunch of dirt, grease, grime, the brush residue. You can see the these little grooves are filled in. The two brushes are coated in gunk. If they don't have a good contact with the armature there, then they don't they won't conduct electricity to make the poles operate. So I'll have to 
take this apart. I'll clean it up with some WD-40 and a toothbrush and maybe I'll even rinse it off with some water, soapy water. Get all this cleaned up and I'll bring it back and show you what it looks like. Well, I've cleaned this all up with the WD-40 and a toothbrush and I did rinse everything down with soapy Dawn, using Dawn soap and water, hot water. Then I used my air compressor and blew off all the excess water and dried it out. And then after it dried, I put on a coat of, a thin coat of WD-40 again. So you can see the armature cover is all cleaned up. The wheels are cleaned up. Uh, you know, behind it, where it was so gummy, is all clean. Uh, inside where the armature goes, cleaned all the axles, cleaned all the, the gears, uh, cleaned up the e, e unit, made sure it wasn't really that dirty, made sure that this will come back down by gravity. I haven't really lubricated it yet, but I'll, I'll put some thin synthetic oil on all the posts where the gears ride and spin. There's one mainly inside there, spins very fast. That's the one that was making the most noise. I cleaned up <clears throat> the, the nut for the push rods. So I still have to put it all together. And here's the armature. All the grooves are cleaned out, polished it up, you know, did the same thing with all these parts, cleaned it with a toothbrush and WD-40 to loosen up the grease. And the only way to get it clean again really is to use water and soap to rinse out all that dirt. Uh, just like a, a clock, I guess, when you take a clock in for repair, they use an the ultrasonic cleaner on it. I don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, so I, you know, did the best I could with water and and the air air blowing out, drying it out after it's all all been clean. Also, I didn't the shell. I didn't do that much. I cleaned it up, but I didn't put any soap or water or anything, any oil on the stripe. It'll take that stripe off probably. I've had that happen before. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna make that bar across there. But the shell cleaned up really nice. Didn't see any damage on it. But this unit doesn't have a headlight. No smoke unit. Uh, just a more basic uh, locomotive. Like I said, the 250, I think, definitely has a three, three pole reverser and I think it has a smoke unit. I might clean one of those up next and I'll like, I'll show it to you. So let me put this back together and I'll show you how it is, how it looks when it's all completed. Well, here's the locomotive all put back together. I still have to get the crossbar for the rear truck but it, it will work like it is it's just when you pick it up you have to make sure you don't let it fall off this is the tender I had that came with a set when I've got a 350 Scout and the cars came with the 350 so I think it may be a set these are good running engines and look like the motors are well built so I'll take it for a test run, see how it does.
It runs pretty well. I guess the first lap it had a bad piece of dirty track and it went in reverse. But I think that's due to the track not being that clean. Um, if I do figure out what I'm going to use on the back uh, truck for the crossbar, I'll let you know. If anybody has a suggestion of what type of material you can get or something easy to make it out of, let me know. So thanks for watching this video and I'm not sure I'm going to do another one here shortly, maybe in a week or so. So everybody, have a good day, good night, and take care. Thank you.